Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Also, don't mind Nugget just walking around and making some noise. I've decided to film this video out here because it's a bit brighter, a bit more room because as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm doing another Sheen haul. I've realized that I've become a little bit obsessed. As I was saying, I've realized I've become a little bit obsessed with Sheen. I do mostly buy from the sale section because I'm extra cheap and you never know what little goodies you can find in that sale section. I jumped on not too long ago and had a look at what they got, mainly because I was actually looking for an outfit for Taylor Swift in February because me and my sister were lucky enough to actually get some tickets. The outfit that I've gotten for Taylor Swift is in this package, but I don't think I'll show you in this video today because it might not end up being the one I'm gonna wear because I don't know how it's gonna look. That is the main reason why I did do the haul and then I kind of just got on this really toxic spiral just adding more and more to my basket. I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe down below. But let's get right on into the video. I don't think I've got too many. It probably adds up to about... Okay, it's kind of is a lot. There's about eight here, but I think from memory, they're mostly like dress styles, only because it's coming into summer here in Melbourne. Although today in this whole week, you wouldn't think so because it is absolutely pouring down with rain, but the sun is starting to poke out, which is nice. But yes, I don't really have a whole lot of summer dresses and you know, nice, nice floral, summery, flowy hot weather dresses i only have a couple and i've had them for about five years so i have absolutely worn them to death so i thought this would be the perfect excuse to get some more dresses and prepare my wardrobe for summer because honestly i don't have that much for summer so let's crack on onto the first dress so this is the first dress i picked up it's a bit hard to tell what it actually looks like but i will step back in a minute i just wanted to show you a little close-up of the fabric it's kind of got different lines it is a bit thin but for Sheen, I feel like it's actually a decent thickness dress, especially being summer. I thought it maybe would have been a bit warm, but it's actually quite cute. It's just a normal regular back, but I'll step out and show you the full length. Also, as always, I will include on the side the picture from the website about what it should look like compared to what I actually get and also the size that I got just in case you're interested in getting one of these items as well. So this is the dress in its full length. It's quite nice and flowy. It goes kind of just above my knees. There's no pockets. Obviously, if anything was to have pockets, it would make it a hundred times better, but it doesn't have pockets, which I don't really expect Sheen to include pockets, but this is actually quite a nice dress. I like it. And I don't even really remember what dresses I did get because I ordered these probably like at least a month ago because it's just been sitting in my office for about a little bit. I would have ordered it more than a month ago, probably going on two months ago because it's been sitting in my office for nearly a month because I just haven't got around to filming this try video. But yeah, I'm quite happy with this first dress. On to dress number two. Okay, so this is dress number two. I don't quite know how I feel about it. It looks quite nice and flattering, except around this area, it is very tight. I could only just get the zip up. So maybe I could have gone better in a different size. But knowing me, I'm not gonna be sending anything back to get a different size because I'm just lazy and it's just, it's just not gonna happen. This is what the dress looks like. It's quite nice and flowy. It is a very, very thin material compared to the last one. This is extremely thin. I do think it looks quite nice, but it's not really, it's just more tight around my ribs. So if I was to eat and bloat, it would be fine. It's just more breathing in and out like, I feel like that's gonna pop. <laughs> besides it being a little bit tight around, excuse me, besides it being a little bit tight around the rib area, I actually think it is quite nice and flattering. This is a little bit of a close up of what the material looks like. They're like little flowers with little polka dots in between. And it does go quite well with this lipstick, I must say. Not mad about it. Initially, I thought it wasn't gonna fit because the zip on the side, I couldn't see initially. But yeah, I managed to just squeeze it on. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I don't know if it'll be something I'll grab for all the time. I might wear it once. I do really like it, but it's just so tight. I do actually like the sleeves too. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about them. But now that they're on, it's quite cute. On to the next dress. So this is the next dress. It's a very pretty color. I do like how it fades from lighter into the darker color and the leopard print on the bottom. However, it is a very, very thin material and it does feel quite cheap. But in saying that, for summer, it would probably end up working quite well because you don't want anything heavy and thick on your body. I don't know how I feel about the sleeves. 
maybe I'm just not used to them. I felt like it, the sleeves would have been better if it came down to about here, like a regular size t-shirt sleeve. But I'll step back so you can see the full dress. I feel like as well, this is something that would go well with my Birkenstock. So I'm gonna pop them on so you can see them with that. So this is the dress with my Birkenstocks on. I think it's quite cute. And this nice cream color into black with some leopard print on the bottom. It's just nice and flowy, really good for summer. Like I was saying with the other stuff, it's just the material that feels cheap. But once again, I can't act surprised. I can't really complain considering this was probably an extremely cheap piece of clothing. But yeah, I'm actually quite happy with it. I think it is quite cute. And I do like it with these shoes. This is the kind of dress where you can go out with your friends, have some drinks, eat until your heart's content and not get all tight and bloated because you can just hide it underneath all of this. This is definitely a dress that I'm probably going to be wearing this summer. I think it's really nice, really flattering. I love the colors and the fact it goes all well with my Birkenstocks is just a plus. <laughs> On to the next dress. I was looking forward to this dress. I don't know why. I feel like on the model it just looked really good. This material isn't really thin like the other ones. I don't know if you can tell, but the fabric, it's nice. It's a nice material. It's not really thin like the other ones. It's like a proper fabric material, not like the really thin, half see-through, slippery material. This is like a really nice one. But the reason I'm so excited for this dress, I don't know why, but as soon as I saw it, it just made me imagine me in the future with some kitties on a hot summer's day. This is the kind of dress I want to be wearing down the beach, around the shops, around the house this is what I picture me to look like as a mum don't know why don't ask me why but it's just what came to my head when I saw this dress so I had to get it one the color is so cute like the light pink I'll step back so you can have a look kind of goes like down to the bottom of your knees but the side is actually a slit so it goes up to here it doesn't go up too high which I like it kind of goes just down to the top of my thighs there so it's not showing off too much but yeah I just think it's really pretty and it's really comfortable absolutely love it I am definitely going to be keeping this one for the long haul because it's really nice material and this is what I'm going to be wearing in the future as a future mama <laughs> I think this was actually the first dress that I added into my basket after the Taylor Swift one, which is what I think got me in a roll of buying all these summer dresses. So this is the dress to blame. On to the next dress. Okay, so this is the next dress. I really like this dress. It does feel a bit cheap and maybe a little bit itchy. So we'll see how it goes. But this is so cute. It's a nice long maxi dress. The sleeves and they're not like too puffy, but they are a bit tight around here, which is one of my main concerns at the moment about not liking it too much because it is getting a little bit itchy around there. But it's a nice tight but stretchy material. So you've got plenty of room. There's a little button at the top. But I've also paired these with my Birkenstocks because I feel like it just looks so cute. And so many of these dresses, if not all of them, can go with these Birkenstocks, especially considering these are summer dresses. Birkenstocks are just perfect for it. So it's a nice, long, maxi skirt. I have paired them with my Birkenstocks. Yeah, there's really not too much more to say about it. It's just a nice olive green colored dress. I think it's so really cute. Like to wear this, I don't know, you know, the family were having a picnic or celebrating someone's birthday at the park. This would just be perfect. And it does have little, I don't know if the if lays is the right wording, but it's nice and stretchy around here with some elastic. Then it flows again to another bit of elastic down here and then just flows out to the bottom. Yeah, I think this is such a cute dress. Absolutely love it. This is definitely one that I'm going to be keeping for a while as well. I think it's really, really cute. I love it. On to the next dress. Okay. This is definitely another winner. It's obviously very plain, but it is absolutely perfect for summer. I can see myself wearing this down to the beach. So it's kind of like a dress top. It's actually a really nice material and it's just nice and flowy, but it has got pockets. And I was literally just saying before, I don't expect Sheen to include pockets in any of their dresses. And here we are in a dress shirt with pockets. But I've also paired these with my Birkenstocks because I think it just looks perfect and summery. But the length that I've got goes kind of just halfway at my thighs. Not too high, not too low. Just really nice and comfy. Even though it's a really nice material, it's not too thin. Absolutely perfect for summer, absolutely perfect for the beach. And the fact it's got pockets, it just brings up the rating for this dress so much more. It just feels really, really nice. I'll be wearing this one absolutely to death this summer. Only two more to go. Ooh, I like this one already. So this is the material of this dress. Nice and thin, but also thick and warm. Fits really nicely. I really do love the shape of this with the sleeves, like the cut of the dress I think is really lovely. It's nice and tight fitting, but not too tight. I just think, I don't know. I feel like it makes my figure look really nice. Got plenty of stretchy room space, but it is a long dress one. I wouldn't say it's a maxi dress. I don't really know what the term is for a dress like this, 
but it does have a split up on the left side but there's none on this side which I just think is really flattering I don't know I just think this would be the kind of dress that would be perfect for a winery day out with the girls or something like that or if someone's having a birthday as well I think this would be really nice I wasn't sure what I was going to think about this one because I don't really have any dresses or outfits that are like this because I didn't really know if a long tight dress like this was my style but I must say I do love this one on to the final dress Ooh, I did not know what I was going to think about this dress I think I quite like it so the top of this dress is just a nice soft thin material fits quite nicely around the side but then it's pretty much a maxi length dress so the bottom material does feel like that really cheap thin material so it is slightly different to the one at the top i don't know if these are like palm leaf style but it's just really pretty it doesn't have pockets i feel like if it had pockets it would just be amazing didn't know if i was gonna be a fan of this one but i actually think it's quite flattering i'm quite happy with that so that was the last dress for this sheen summer dress haul i'll really give you my final honest thoughts of each of these dresses and then we'll wrap up this video Alrighty, so my final thoughts on all of these items. I generally really like all of them and I can generally picture myself wearing the majority of these dresses this summer. The only one that I'm not too sure on is this one here. So this was the one that was really nice and flattering, except it was very, very tight around my rib area, which was a bit uncomfortable just to try and breathe. <laughs> Other than that, I actually really, really love all the items. I don't know if I could give a favorite one because I generally really love all of them. I think the ones that were a bit more longer in length, I'll probably be wearing them a, a fair amount, but I just don't think I'll be wearing them as much as say the pink mum one or the cream like t-shirt dress only because they're more ones that i'd be wearing on a more regular basis i wish i didn't take this long to actually whip them out because the other day it was 25 degrees in melbourne and it would have been perfect for one of those days to wear one of those dresses but it's okay i survived but very very happy with all these purchases let me know which one was your favorite and if you are going to get any of the items that i got or let me know if you found any hidden gems of any really amazing summer dresses or different items for summer coming up if you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed already please subscribe down below it's completely free to do and it really helps my channel out if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life i do a post a little bit more over on my instagram stories so feel free to go check that out as well if you wish once again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're all happy and well and healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.